the basic SketchUp tools, uh, the first one we're going to talk about is this one, the Slick tool. So uh, the best shortcut I'm going to teach you today, if I'm in any other tool, you can't see me, but I'm hitting the space bar and it turns into the Slick tool. Whatever you're doing, hit the space bar and you go back to the Select tool. It's much easier than coming all the way up here and clicking on the Select tool. So in SketchUp, why we need the Select tool is at first you need to select the geometry on screen and then you tell SketchUp what to do with it. So when something's selected, if it's a face, it gets these little blue dots on it, which is kind of hard to see. If you select a line, it turns blue. If you select a group like the Sophie group, uh, it all turns blue and there's a blue box around it. The space bar Select tool also ends any tool or function that you're currently using. So after you select something, then you can tell SketchUp what to do with it, like move it, rotate it, copy it. And don't be confused if you're used to CAD. In CAD, you pick the move tool first, then you say, this is what I want to move. It's exactly the opposite in SketchUp to make your life not easier. Okay, finally, let's draw something. The line tool, the pencil tool is the same thing. It looks like a pencil, draws a line. If I click on it, I can either click at the beginning and then click again at the end of the line, or I can click drag and release. The click at the beginning then is a little more specific, a little less prone to problems, but if you are used to something from another program, feel free to use that. So just go ahead and click around, draw some lines, and um, okay, so, and then if you're trying to stop, no, let me stop. Just hit escape. That's the rubber band effect and you can turn it off in preferences if you like. So it looks like we've drawn a nice little pattern, but if I go ahead and orbit around, you'll see that some of the lines are going up and down, some are going back and forth. So how do we get SketchUp to understand where exactly we want these lines to be drawn? Let's see, go ahead and pick the eraser tool and drag over the lines that we made. So this time, uh, when we use the pencil tool, we're going to be more specific in how we do it. And hey, just a hint, rather than coming over here and picking the pencil, almost every of the basic toolbars, if you look at the first letter, that is um, the shortcut on your keyboard. So if I hit L for line, guess what? I'm into the line tool. So that is by far the fastest way to move around among the various tools in SketchUp. So go ahead and click some point, and this time I start dragging up, but notice that when I'm heading exactly straight up and down that my line turns blue, the same color as the blue axis over there. If I hold down uh, shift or option on a Mac, it locks into that axis, so no matter where I move my pencil from side to side, I can only draw a line that's exactly up and down. So this it works the same if I go back in the green axis, I can lock to that, and if I move in the red axis. So go ahead and try that out and see if you can get the same inferences to lock. So if you need to use the eraser tool, totally erase what's on your screen, and then let's pick L for line tool and just, just make a quick little square using the line tool and the colored axes to guide us. So click draw a line in the green direction. Click again, draw a line in the red direction. Click and draw a line again in the green direction. And look at when we get exactly lined up with the point over here, this little uh, inference line pops out, which tells us if we click there, when we go ahead and finish up, we'll have an exact rectangle. And you can tell because it fills in. Um, so we know that it's all coplanar and uh, it's a lovely rectangle. So we've been working along and we got stuff we want to get rid of. So let's talk about the eraser tool, which looks like an eraser. If I click on it, you can see there's a little um, circle and that whatever is attached to that circle part is actually what's going to get erased. So you can either click on an edge or any group, but I find it easier just to click and hold down the mouse button and drag it over to erase uh, a whole bunch of stuff without having to be as specific. We're going to learn some more erase tools later um, to select a bunch of geometry and just delete it. And I'm doing Control Z right now. You could also hit the space bar, go to select, to select some geometry and hit delete is another way to get rid of things. This video is just the beginning in a small part of my SketchUp Bootcamp class, a practical SketchUp training class designed for interior architects and designers. This course offers a thorough background in the SketchUp tools and techniques most important to design professionals creating interiors. The aim of this e-learning course is to systematically teach you a progression of tools so you'll understand how to quickly and efficiently integrate SketchUp into your workflow. There's eight hours of video that you can access at your own pace and as often as you like. To learn more, 
go to my website, seedd.com, to the classes page.